Hello and welcome back for the commercial awareness update of the 22nd of February. Today the first issue we're going to assess how Mark Kenne stated that economic uncertainty caused by the Brexit vote will reduce by 5% UK wage growth within months. Speaking to MPs, he added that British workers had already suffered a loss in earnings growth of 3.5% and would see that loss go up to 5% by the end of the year as wages growth remained below inflation. A whistleblower says Carillion was in massive financial trouble by the middle of 2016, but directors were placating the city by failing to disclose major problems. The executives described a corporate culture in which nobody wanted to give bad news. MPs are to question KPMG about why it did not spot the company's financial problems sooner. According to the new data from the Office for National Statistics, productivity growth is its strongest since the financial crisis. The ONS said output per hour rose to 0.8% in the three months to December, following growth of 0.9% in the previous period. Although unemployment edged higher, there was a better than expected rise in wages. KPMG in the UK described the productivity figures as very encouraging. According to the Resolution Foundation, poorer families face three years of stagnating incomes. It warned that Britain is at risk of the first prolonged rise in inequality since the late 1980s. The £14 billion welfare reductions will offset any gains in the national living wage and similar policies, damaging prospects for 8 million low- and middle-income households. The BBC reports that Michael Gove has told water companies to clean up their act. The Environment Secretary says he's ready to give off what the water regulator new powers unless the firm responds to concern regarding overprices, leaks, executive pay and payments to shareholders. As always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe in order to stay updated with the business world and develop your commercial awareness in less than 2 minutes every day.